G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you're watching, hello. In today's video, I will be giving you my thoughts and a review on the Rugby League World Cup final between Samoa and Australia. So this is just a bit of an introduction to this video. Um, history has already been made with Samoa making the Rugby League World Cup. Amazing scenes everywhere around the world, seeing the Samoan fans come out in full force to celebrate history being made. Now, will history continue to be made? And will we see Samoa win the Rugby League World Cup? in 2022 or will Australia put a stop to that and win a game that they're expected to win who knows but I know for sure we will be in for a cracking game if you didn't see my tipping video I have backed Samoa by two points um, I've been getting people saying I'm a complete idiot for this and I don't know rugby league. So we will soon find out. Maybe I don't know rugby league. But I tell you what, I love a team that is passionate and just loves getting out there and having a good old-fashioned dig. And Samoa are that team. So I think if there's any team that can upset Australia, it is Samoa. I might be eating my words. And look, at the end of the day, I hope I am because I am an Australian supporter. But... I'd love to see Samoa win. So I am, this is all going to be raw. I'm going to, as soon as half time comes, I'm going to give you my thoughts of the game, of the first half and then full time. I'm going to give you my thoughts again. So it's not going to be, um, you know, all at once at the end of the game. First half will be broken up with my thoughts there. And then I'll also give you my thoughts on the second half as well so guys sit back relax and enjoy the review um i would like to give uh, everybody watching this video a massive shout out and say thank you so much for the support of the channel and guys whatever the result may be i just hope it was a good game of football and we all uh we all enjoyed ourselves so thank you so much for tuning in and enjoy the video all right, guys, let's talk about this first half because there is a lot to talk about. Right, starting off, um, the Civitao, what, oh, I just, goosebumps, goosebumps all over, man. Honestly, I think the Civitao is the best uh, war dance. I think it beats the Haka um, and the Sipitao. Um, just the raw emotion in the player's eyes even brought a tear to my eye. Like, it was it was beautiful. So, um, oh, yeah, just shout out to Samoa. I love the Civitao. All right. Um, so, to start off with, uh, good kickoff, strong contact from the get-go. Then we saw um, James Tedesco save a Harris Tavita 40-20. But that should have been a 40-20 uh, because it definitely hit... The line, um, Samoa robbed of a scrum 15 metres out. Um, poor refereeing on that part, and that poor refereeing continues, and we'll get to that soon. Um, ben Hunt, an unusual forward pass, giving Samoa a good chance um, in their own half. Uh, I, I thought Samoa had the upper hand in the first 10 minutes. I thought they were outstanding. And then um, Jerome Luai, puts a kick in that goes too far. That absolutely changes the momentum of the game. Val Holmes gets a break off a quick whiten tap down the field. And then not long after that, um, we do see some good try line defense. Um, Stephen Crichton put a massive hit on Angus Crichton, but then it just, you, you know, it was inevitable. Latrell Mitchell barges over, breaks about three tackles, um, just smashes right through um, uh, Joseph Soali'i and scores the first try um, 14 minutes into the game for Australia. Uh, <laughs> not long after that, Josh Adokar makes a break, 
putting um, James Tedesco over for Australia's second try. Australia go up 10 minutes, uh, 10, 10 nil after 18 minutes. Um, so that after that um, poor kick by Jerome Luai, it, the momentum's just shifted. Australia just went into the next gear and completely controlled the game there. Um, I'll tell you what, though, Tim Laffey, bro, such an underrated player. Massive hit on um, James Tedesco, realistically saving another try, to be honest. Um, Suali'i uh, gets a freaking awesome catch, offloads it. Um, Crichton tries to get it out to Ta'o, but uh, Adokar knocks it down, which saved a certain Samoan try. Um, they go the left-hand side um, after the scrum, and Milford makes a stupid error um, that arguably could have led to a Samoan try. They had space over there. So just, just these costly errors were um, one of the big issues there for Samoa, which we'll talk about um, soon. Uh, because I'll do a quick summary of both teams and how I think they've been playing. Um, so not long after that Australia march back down the field, Liam Martin scores for Australia, crashing over. They did send it up to the video ref, but it was a try for all money. It, it definitely looked like a try in real time. And then when they um, went up to the video ref, it just confirmed it. It, it was a try, 100%. So 14 nil to Samoa after 30 minutes. Um we then saw a head high from Munster on Suali'i that was not called, even though the touch he said, oh, you can hear it as clear as day, um, high contact from Munster Ash. So that's to Ashley Klein, the referee. Um, so, uh, yeah, poor um, decision there not to call that. I thought that was pathetic. Um, and I'm cheering. I'm going for Australia. I, 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 know, I know I tip Samoa. But I'm happy Australia are up 14-0. Like, I still want us to win the World Cup. Um, but I just, yeah, we'll get to the refereeing in a second. Um, To'o makes a poor error 20 metres out. He just loses the ball. It, Yeah, we will talk about this in a second. And then Tim Laffey, I've put down here, is he the best defensive centre in rugby league? Because I tell you what, some of these hits he's making, the reads are just fantastic. All right, so... First, I want to talk about Australia. Obviously, my home nation, and I'm glad they're up 14-0. Uh, although I would, you know, I would like to see it uh, become a little bit closer. But um, the Australia are playing very well. Uh, I think I, I don't actually have a uh, best player going to halftime for Australia. I think Latrell Mitchell's been amazing out there in the centres. Nearly crashed over for a second try as well. I just think Australia, since that uh, after that first ten minutes. They've controlled the momentum um, since then. So, yeah, they're, they're playing very well. Samoa, uh, stupid handling errors are causing yeah, causing this scoreline to just blow out. Um, they, they haven't been playing that bad. They've actually been, you know, taking it to Australia for the most part. It's just these, these poor handling errors are costing them. Um, yeah, I think, you know... If they can scrap those handling errors, like there's just so many uncharacteristic handling errors happening for Samoa. If they can scrap them and get into this second half, you know, fresh and forget about that first half, forget about the handling errors, just continue with this game. I do think that they can definitely put Australia to the sword. Um, refereeing, I think, has been horrible. Ashley Klein, mate. Some bad decisions there. Look, I, I, I don't rate Ashley Klein. I think he's an absolute wanker. But um, maybe I'm a Salty Souths fan. But he's, yeah, he's he's pissed me off in a lot of Rabbitohs games. And now I just, look, I, I, I hate saying the refs favouring one team. But why, why have we got an Australian referee refereeing an Australia versus Samoa game? They should have had an English referee there or a New Zealand referee there, or a French referee there. Look, I don't think Ashley Klein was the right man for the job. Absolute joke of a decision, in my opinion. Um, and I think Samoa have missed out on about two or three bad calls 
that have cost them good field position, especially for two massive calls. And this one's not Klein's, so don't get me wrong. This one's not Klein's. It's the touch judge. Um, that should have been a 40-20, 100%. And the second one was Cameron Munster's head high on Joseph Swali'i. That is arguably the worst call I've seen. The touch judge was shouting to Ashley Klein, mate, high contact, high contact, no call. That was a joke, and I really hope they review that. But, um, yeah, look, solid first half for Australia. I think Samoa have what it takes to win this game, but they really need to uh, clean up their errors in the second half. All right, guys, back to watching it. Let's go. All right, before we um, discuss the second half, I'd just like to give a massive shout-out to Samoa for for one, making history in this World Cup. You know, um, it, it's been an amazing journey for you guys and you should be unbelievably proud of how you've gone in this World Cup. Um, two, the fans of Samoa, you guys have just been so amazing. You know, I've, I've, I don't think, you know, I, I say that Papua New Guinea are the most passionate fans in rugby league. I think you guys have officially won that title now. You guys have been outstanding in this World Cup, and I've just I've been blown away by how um, how much support you guys give your team. So uh, six eight five to the world. Let's bloody go, Samoa. So yeah, thank you all so much for an amazing World Cup experience, and I just like to thank you guys as well for um, supporting me. Uh, on my YouTube channel, I've um, had hundreds of Samoan supporters subscribing to me. So thank you so much. All right, let's talk about the second half. So to uh, kick things off, Angus Crichton knocks on very early on in the game, <laughs> in the second half, sorry. Followed up by a strong defense from Samoa leading to a James Tedesco knock on. So two uncharacteristic errors from these players. Um, May, uh, Tyrone May makes, uh, sorry, Tyrone May, uh, Taylor May or Tiny May makes a break down the sideline, uh, but the Aussie defense is too good. Then we see um, Stephen Cro uh, Angus Crichton come in with the elbow, uh, with all the forearm elbow uh, on Harris Tavita. Um, I don't know if this is just my Rabbitohs biased and hating the Roosters, but I personally think that should have been a, a send-off, not a sin-bin. Uh, that, that was just unnecessary. It was There was a break in play. There was no there was no need for that. And he's knocked out Chanel Harris-Tavita, um, ending his night and potentially his career. Um, and, yeah, look, Samoa lose their dummy half. I think Australia should have should have lost their second rower. He should have been gone for the game. That is just my opinion on that one. Um, I thought there were then straight after that Carrigan made a costly knock on as well, which turned the ball over to Samoa in their um, uh, close to the try line. Unfortunately, nothing panned out because Australia's defence was just way too good. Uh, then we saw um, Latrell Mitchell knock the ball on. So there was just four errors, you know, in a short period of time that uh, gave Samoa a lot of um, opportunities to score. However, Australia's defence was just way too good. Uh, Cameron Munster came up with a massive play, getting a um, strip turning the ball over in Australia's favour. Then Cleary got a beautiful ball off to Cameron Murray. Murray scored uh, Australia's fourth try in the uh, 53rd minute, 52nd minute. All right, let me just turn the page over. Um, I thought it was a pretty poor call uh, for... So Crichton went for a charge down off a Cleary kick. Cleary was in the air, but Crichton, Crichton was going for a charge, and I thought Cleary made 
a good uh, good start to his acting career with a bit of a flop there. Uh, look, by the le- letter of the law, that should be a penalty. However, I think Samoa were a bit hard done by there. I thought there was a few penalties uh, that Samoa got, uh, should have gotten that the ref missed. So, uh, yeah, I thought they were a bit hard done. But, look, I'm going into this very unbiased. Um, so, uh, look, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of Australian fans whinging at me about this. But let's be real. Let's get let's let's call a spade a spade. I personally think that this uh, so there were some calls that definitely went uh, Australia's way in this game for sure. Um, Milford saved a certain uh, Angus Crichton try. He um, came over the back of him and caused an error there, making uh, Angus Crichton knock the ball on in goal. Um, would have been good to see that come off for Crichton because I tell you what. The kick from Josh Adokar was perfect. Um, not long after that, Brian Ta'o um, turned it around. He scored a great try um, as Luttrell went for an intercept. Um, beautiful Jerome Luai pass, cut out three players. Then it was Crichton and Ta'o against um, Adokar. Adokar was never going to win when, um, you know, Crichton got that ball away to Toho. Toho scores in the corner. So really good to see their uh, good Samoan try. So that made the score uh, 20 points to six. Uh, still Australia's way. Um, not long after that, James Tedesco scored a double. Um, pretty much iced the game there. Australia went up 26 to six after 70 minutes. Um, not too much more to talk about here. Stephen Crichton scored an amazing intercept try. The man just does this for fun now. Uh, 72 minutes into the game, making the score 26 to 10. And I'll tell you what, this is why I love the Samoa fans, bro. They just, it doesn't matter how much they're down, the belief is always there until that final whistle blows. Um, we then saw a clever Ben Hunt 40-20. He does this all the time as well. Very, very, very good player when it comes to 40-20 kicking. Um, and then just a beautiful line run by Latrell Mitchell to score his second try. And Australia go on to win 30-10. to All right, it was very hard to pick three players for Australia. Um, like, yeah, three top players like... There's several players that missed out. Josh Adokar, Liam Martin, Latrell Mitchell, to name a few. I've picked my three, though. Um, but we'll talk about the Samoan three I've picked. I've gone with two of their front rowers, Junior Bolo, uh, 156 metres gained, three tackle breaks, 39 tackles and zero errors. Josh Papali'i, 170 metres, three tackle breaks, 35 tackles. And... Um, my player of the match for Samoa is Jerome Luai. He was everywhere. He tried to... Um, it, it, look, honestly, I think we can put to rest that he's carried by Cleary. He is one of the best 5 in the world. And if anybody says he's not, then you just, you're just you a fucking idiot, honestly. Excuse my French, but you're an idiot. Seriously, you're just hating, for, hating on him. Because, for no reason, like dead set, he is a gun of a player, and I'd I'd definitely love him in in in, in my team, one hundred percent. So uh, yeah, Jerome Luai finished with one hundred and twenty meters gained off twenty nine carries, so he carried that ball into the line twenty nine times. So huge, huge uh, effort from Jerome Luai. He made twenty one tackles and only one miss. Four and a half, that is brilliant. He also had 200 kick meters, so massive wraps there for Jerome Luai. All right, let's talk about Australia. So, my three players I had Elliot, uh, Isaiah Yo, um, he ran for 133 meters, 44 tackles, no misses. I'm pretty sure he's got like a 98% uh, tackle efficiency in this World Cup, which is just insane. I think he's missed like one or two tackles this whole comp. That is just, it's that's next level, man. That is amazing. He also made no errors in that game as well, played the full 80. Huge credit to Isaiah Yo. I think he is one of the most underrated players in the NRL. 
All right, next up, I had Cam Murray off the bench in just 41 minutes. He scored one try, 92 metres, two tackle breaks, one line break, 27 tackles. He did make a couple of misses, but I tell you what, in a short stint, he was enormous for Australia. Um, my man of the match, it's pretty obvious who I'm picking here. James Tedesco scored two tries, ran for 230 metres, seven tackle breaks, and one line break. So, uh, yeah, that is going to wrap up the World Cup, guys. Um, I will still have – I'm going to do my team of the year, so that will probably come out sometime this week. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I think that might wrap it up for the World Cup after that video. So thank you all so much for tuning in um, and supporting me over these last few weeks with the World Cup. It's um, It's been amazing to welcome so many new subscribers to the channel. Uh, Papua New Guinea subscribers, Samoan subscribers, Tongan subscribers, Fijian subscribers. Um, Obviously, more Australian subscribers as well. I've had Welsh people join, um, more English people. Like, there's just it, – it's been amazing. So, honestly, thank you all so much for the support um, and helping me grow my channel. Like, I, I can't do this stuff without you. So, I really do appreciate that. And, uh, yeah. That's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Thank you all so much once again. Um, one one more message to uh, Samoa. Look, guys, I know you're still, you're still going to party all night about this history being made, and you guys deserve it. Um, you know, I think you guys are just – you're going to be so much stronger just for making this World Cup. So shout out to you guys. It's been an amazing journey. Um, you, you've got a new fan in me now. I, I absolutely love what you guys are doing. Um, I think you guys have proven a lot of people wrong this year. I know a lot of people went into this, uh, especially after the England game, saying that, uh, you know, you guys are going to be the disappointment of the tournament. I think you guys have been the shining light of the tournament. So shout out to you guys. Um, you know, whether you're living in Samoa or Australia, New Zealand, Tonga, um, Samoan fans, you guys have been amazing. You guys have been getting out in full force, and I, I absolutely love it. So massive shout-out to you guys. Um, yeah, look, I, I've talked for way too long here. Um, I'm going to wrap it up now, I promise. So, yeah, guys, thank you all so much once again. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.